What's the power of your question? $64 question was our idiom for supersize your business today. Sharon Horn Elsom here. And we're talking about the power of questions and questions and primarily, mostly our primary question for the annual challenge day 309 today. We talked about the importance of the questions that we ask. And I don't know if I even mentioned it, but the truth is our thoughts, our feelings, our beliefs, our past experiences, our mm -hmm. mindset, and our attitude all impact and determine what questions we'll even ask ourselves. But each and every one of us, whether we're consciously aware of it or not, have a primary question that we're always asking ourselves. I discovered when I had my sudden cardiac arrest that from a subconscious to a conscious level, my primary question was WTF. WTF being what the, not a particularly strong primary question, at least the way I was using it. If I had used it toward, what the heck, this is super exciting, instead of what the F, why is everything not the way I expect it to be right now? What's wrong with this? Then it could have been used as a positive instead of a negative primary question. But basically, I was using it to make myself feel overwhelmed, stressed out, and out of control. And like I couldn't handle things, which all of that culminated in different areas and aspects of my life in a sudden cardiac arrest, which meant I checked out for a while, was in a coma, was frozen and all that cool stuff. And then lucky for me, one of the fortunate, very grateful few that actually recovered from that particular uh, malady or event. It was, a, it was a death event, right? Not many people can say that they've died and are still here today talking to you, but I can actually say that. So one of the things I learned and I discovered after that, trying to untangle and figure out what to do with my life because I knew I had to make massive changes, was something I'd learned from Tony Robbins literally decades earlier, but I hadn't really paid attention to it or consciously applied it to any area or aspect of my life, much less my whole life. But I realized when I woke up, the first words out of my mouth were WTF, which people around me knew. They knew what my primary question was. They knew that I was on a negative slant and that WTF was going to be the first words out of my mouth. And I guess that realization that other people knew and were clearly aware of what I was thinking and feeling, but I wasn't, was a wake up call for me to say, okay, well, that hasn't served me very well. I need a different primary question. So I went about to go out a week, brainstorming and trying to figure out what would be a better question to replace the WTF with, because I knew WTF was going to come up automatically in my mind. So I had to have something to immediately replace it with whenever I heard it. So now WDF, WDF, WTF triggers for me what am I creating now? What am I creating now? Those two are forever linked. And whenever I say WTF, and I still say it once in a while, what am I creating now is the immediate next thought because I want to be asking myself, what am I creating now instead of WTF? So we talked about how do you go about changing your primary question. And then in Supersize Your Business, we talked about, okay, you have a primary question, but let's create a primary question. Or does your business have a primary question that it asks and answers in order to grow and build and supersize. And I think that's a really powerful exercise, at least for the owner to go through and decide, hey, this is gonna be our primary question. And then think about other businesses and see if you can figure out what their primary question is, right? Think of Apple and Steve Jobs. Their primary question is based on customer focus. That's a really good focus when it comes to building and growing and supersizing your business. They're like a trillion dollar company plus. So obviously that is an excellent primary question and maybe one to model, but make it your own by creating one that speaks directly to you and your leadership team, right? So that's what we talked about today. I am now feeling well enough to be busily packing and getting ready for my trip. And I'm realizing that I wasn't segmenting and planning about my trip in a good enough way so I'm breaking that down just like I do everything else. Break it down a big thing into little pieces so that I can create and pack and manage and get ready in a way that makes sense and makes it easy for me to enjoy my trip. If I can help you in any way, ask. Otherwise, have a fantastic day and I will be with you tomorrow. Bye. Think about your primary question. If you're brave, share it.